Hey guys, welcome back to the Northeast Florida Surf Fishing Forecast for November 13th through the 15th. As you can see, as Etta passed over us here in Northeast Florida, it has left us with some nasty water uh, overnight and most of the morning on Thursday. Winds were out the south southeast, 20 to 35 miles an hour. Uh, still tons of seaweed in the water, guys. I was walking around and plenty of seaweed and very dirty still four to six foot swells but that should subside, subside overnight as the winds turn to the west and uh, still sand fleas around I caught plenty of sand fleas on the south side of the pier as you can see though with the west wind the tide went way out this was taken two hours before high tide so you can imagine that west wind really tends to push the water out but uh, we are in for some changes, which is a good thing. Some good winds are coming up, so a lot of fish are going to be caught. Plenty of bait around still. And uh, right now the water temperature is 74 degrees. Before we get on to the forecast, um, I have a video <laughs> I took when I was walking down there. This right here. This is why you never leave your food unattended on the beach. These guys absolutely destroyed <laughs> these people's food. I walked down and... Uh, they had ripped open everything. There was a pack of meat that was eaten too. It doesn't take them long. Yeah, those those birds ate that poor guy's food and uh, what can you say? But that's how it goes. Um, the next few days you got on Friday, we have winds west early in the morning, light switching over to the north, northeast at five to 10. Then on Saturday, northeast 10 to 12. And then on Sunday, if it holds up, I saw uh, west, northwest five to 10. So typically what you see when it's dirty like this, it does take a couple of tides to get it clean. So with the west winds in the morning, it will continue to lay the surf down, guys, and hopefully that'll help the seaweed to settle down as well. And low tides will be before noon, around that time I have the tides later on in the video. So what'll probably happen is tomorrow afternoon the water will start to get clean with that northeast wind, and I think Saturday will be a fantastic day to fish as long as the wind forecast holds up. The weather's looking good, no rain, maybe isolated shower actually they said. But on Saturday, the low tide and incoming all afternoon should be really good. Um, I look forward to pompano, whiting, redfish, drum, bluefish to be all over the surf right now. After this rough weather, it'll have the fish in a feeding frenzy guys and uh, there's plenty of sand fleas around. They're still mullet in the surf. Pick you up some clams, get some fresh shrimp. You can pretty much target what you want right now. There are plenty of whiting to be caught and I think Saturday and Sunday will be two prime days for it. Then you look ahead to next week, it's gonna get a little bit colder with some colder night temps. So those pompano that are still up in the Carolinas, they're gonna be making their exit quite fast now. I have a friend up there Carolinas right now he has been catching some stud pompano the last few weeks and I think that's about to come to an end for him so he's gonna have to come down here and visit us but uh low tide seems to be the best still guys so on Saturday and Sunday fish the last two hours of the outgoing and first two hours of the incoming and with those light winds you'll actually be able to fish a little bit longer too because the surf is only going to be I think two to three foot if that if the wind stays light it won't even get to that and let's hope the seaweed is out of there. But uh, if you're heading down, pick up your Sputniks, um, get your fish bites, bring your sand flea rake, buy a couple dozen live shrimp, put them on ice so they're as fresh as possible. Like I said, plenty of whiting are to be caught. And this is pretty much all of Northeast Florida right now. The inlets will be good too. There's been a lot of pompano caught up in uh, the Nassau Sound area. Um, a lot of drum in the Nassau Sound area along with redfish and flounder. Further south, you got the Volano Rocks. There's redfish there. Though they did just dredge. They put a lot of money into that dredging. And then we had a northeaster just probably wipe away millions of dollars of uh, investment. So the rocks should still be good to fish. I've also heard there's been some good fish coming up at Flagler when it's clean. Flagler Beach and then at Flagler Pier. Sheephead, drum, flounder, reds all over that pier. So there's a few different things you can do. It's going to be a really nice weekend and the beach should be fabulous. As the water cools down too, you're going to have a lot less swimmers to have to deal with. The fair weather swimmers, I call them. When it, the water has a little bit of a 
nip to it when you get in it when it stings a little bit that's when you know it's time to catch a lot of whiting and pompano so hopefully hopefully everyone is able to get out this weekend and tear them up and uh, get back to me with some reports and remember if you haven't subscribed uh, do it because I put several videos up during the week of the water conditions that I don't put on Facebook or anywhere else they go straight to the YouTube page live and so if you are subscribed you'll be able to see it and check out the current conditions that being said guys tight lines and have a great weekend